my dear students your accounting coach ard is here and the topic that i brought for you today is depreciation we'll be going through straight line method today now there is a question on your screen this question is not from the past exam papers this is question is made by me and it is a basic practice question which includes all of the basic requirements that are often tested in examination let me read the question for you ARD Textile started its operations on 1st January 2013. Business has started at 1st January. Its transaction relating to non-current assets are as follows. On 1st February 2013, that is first year, uh, we have bought a machine costing $100,000. Now, if the question does not mention whether the machine is bought on cash or credit, we'll be assuming it is bought on credit. Uh, cash and it is bought off through bank account so we'll be making an entry machine debit and bank would be credited now in 2014 we have bought two machines each at a cost of 35000 each from honda limited now if the one machine is costing 35000 two machines would be costing 70000 in total the entry would be made machine debit and honda limited credit if the name of the supplier is given this means we have bought the machine on credit terms now there is no transaction in 15 as you may be see saying 13 14 and after that comes 16 it sold the machine which was bought in 2013 for 40000 that that the machine that we have sold originally cost us 100000 and now we are selling this machine for 40000 depreciation rate is 15% straight line note fully a depreciation is charged in the year of purchase but no depreciation in the year of disposal now this is important basically there are two policies one is full year policy and another one is month wise policy in a full year policy we charge full year depreciation in the year of purchase uh, if the year is ending on 31st december uh, so this means year is starting on 1st january if we have bought the machine on 1st january on 31st december will be a charging full year depreciation even if we have bought the machine on 1st july and we have used it for only 6 months uh still then will be charging a full year depreciation why because it is written full year depreciation charge in the year of purchase if you bought the machine on 1st december and only used it for one month again will be charging a full year depreciation because the question straight full year depreciation but no depreciation in the year of disposal the year in which that we have we have sold the asset we won't be charging any depreciation no matter whether we have used the machine in this year or not uh no matter uh, maybe we have used the machine for 11 months and uh, on the 30th november we have sold the machine after using it for 11 months still then we won't be charging any depreciation because question state no depreciation in the year of disposal so there is another uh, policy which is known as month wise policy and that policy will be calculating the months that if we have used the machine for 6 months will be charging 6 upon 12 if we have used the machine for 11 months will be charging 11 upon 12 so in this question to keep it simple we have used full year policy a requirement there are four requirements basically in this question one is we need to make a machine account if the question is asking for machine account this means we have to make a cost account then we have to make a provision for depreciation account also known as accumulated depreciation now before going through this question uh, i may remind you that you must have basic knowledge uh, of the concepts of what does a depreciation means and what are the methods for depreciation now if you are not aware of the basics of the topic depreciation i recommend you to first watch my video of depreciation concepts so if you have already done that then you may continue with this question then we have a provision for depreciation requirement account provision for depreciation also known as accumulated depreciation then we need to calculate we need to make a disposal account stating gain or loss on disposal then we have income statement and balance sheet extract uh, then the requirement is for 3 years 2000 4 years 2013 14 15 and 16 now let us start the question now the first requirement that we have we need to make a machine account machine account means it is a machine cost account uh, if you may be aware the question says the business has started on 1st january 2013 so there are no machines that we have that are brought down that is balance brought forward because we have just started the business we do not own any machines right now so there is a there is no balance brought down that is opening balance 
If there was a balance brought down, balance brought down will come on a debit side because the machine is an asset and the, the opening balance for asset always comes on a debit side. Because in this question, we have just started the business, there is no balance brought down. The first machine that we have bought is on 1st February 13 and we have bought it for 100,000. What will be making entry? Entry will be machine account will be debited and a bank account would be credited. Now, if you may see, there are no further transactions in 2013. There is only one transaction in 2013. So what we need to do, we need to uh, balance this T account. So the shorter side that we have is a credit side. Uh, the shorter side always contains balance CD. Balance CD means balance carried down, that is closing balance. The end of the year, the end of the first year is 31st December 2013. Again, we need to total these two items. If there is only one item on each side, we do not need to write the total 100,000 again. We just need to rule off. We just need to put off two lines uh, uh, for this and this is known as rule off. The 31st December becomes 1st January 2014. This is the next year. This balance carried down becomes balance brought down in the next year. Now you may see the question. We have already uh, we have uh, bought newer machines in 2014. On 1st August 2014, we have bought two machines for Honda Limited. One is for 35. Then for two machines, we have a 70,000 value. Now if I add up the debit side 100 plus 70, the total value for machines that we have becomes 170. Now the shorter side is against credit side. The shortest side contains balance CD. Now if there is only one item, we just need to roll off. We just need to write two lines below it. This balance carried down will becomes balance brought down in next year. The third year is 2015. Now if we see the question, there are no transactions in 2015, but we cannot ignore the 2015 year. What we need to do? do we just need to balance it the opening value is would be the same as closing value the machines that we have at the start of the year would be the machines that we have at the end of the year so balance brought down becomes balance carried down again we need to make balance on both sides this balance carried down becomes balance brought down in the next year that is 2016 now in the last year you may say we have not bought any machine rather we have sold a machine uh, Whenever the machine, we are buying non-current set, we are debiting the account and whenever we are selling non-current set, we will be crediting the account. We have, a sold, we have sold a machine on 1st September. So, the machine, whenever we sell any non-current asset, we need to transfer that non-current asset into a separate account known as a disposal account. Another thing that we have sold the machine for 40,000 but we won't be writing 40,000 here, we'll be writing the original value that is cost of the machine that is 100,000. See, we are making this account for cost account. So we have sold the machine for 40 but the machine that we have sold for 40 originally cost us 100,000. So we need to write 100,000 here and not the value that uh, actually received from the sale of the machine. Now, uh, at the start of the year, we have 170,000 machines. Out of that 170, we have sold the 100,000 machine. In order to get the remaining value, the remaining value would be balance CD. That is the shorter side, 70,000. So this is the 70,000 for these Honda machines are only left. We need to uh, balance that both sides and we need to make a balance brought down for this balance CD. So the question arises here, sir, how... How many times we need to make a balance brought down? So the in the requirement, the quest in the question, the requirement is given for 2016. We need to make an account for four years, 13, 14, 15, and 16. We need to make a uh, move just one day forward. So after 2016, there comes 1st January 2017. We just need to move one step ahead of the examiner. We just need to make a balance BD for the next year and that is the next day that is 1st January now I hope you understood the machine account after machine account we need to make a provision for depreciation account and for making a provision for depreciation account we need to calculate depreciation first now the first year is 2013 we have just bought one machine for 100,000 the question state the depreciation policy is 15% straight line 
now in straight line what we need to do we need to multiply percentage we need to apply percentage on the original cost and alternatively if the scrap value is given in the question what we need to do first we need to deduct the scrap value or also known as residual value from the cost then we need to multiply the percentage but in this question there is no scrap value given uh, which, what we need to do we just need to apply a 15% on this uh, value 100,000 this becomes 15,000 depreciation this was for 2013 now if we are entering in 2014 we have bought new machines in 2014 as well from Honda Limited for 70,000 but we cannot forget this the old machine because we have not sold this old machine uh, yes we have sold it but in 2016 in 2014 we have two, three machines basically one old machine we have already bought for 100,000 and we have already bought uh, we have also bought some new machines from Honda Limited for 70,000 now the total machine that we own at the end of 2014 is for 170,000 need to apply 15% to this value uh, 170,000 multiplied by 15% in order to get the depreciation for 2014. Now in 2015 again we have not bought any newer machine or neither we have sold any existing machine in 2015 we have sold it for in 16. So the depreciation in 2015 would be same as in 2014 because in straight line method same depreciation is calculated each year. So we need to multiply 170 with 15% in order to get the value 25,500. Now in 2016, we have sold one of the machines. Uh, which machine? Uh, the 100,000 one. Uh, we have sold the 100,000 one machine. Uh, now the only machine that are left over are of 70,000 value. So the machine that we have already sold, we do not need to calculate the depreciation for that because the question state it is a full year policy and in the full year policy no depreciation is charged in the year of disposal. We just need to charge depreciation for 70,000 that is 15% that is 10,500. Now we can move forward to our next requirement that is provision for depreciation account. The depreciation that I just calculated was the rough working for this. Now before making a provision account we need to understand the general entry or also known as double entry for depreciation. Now you may be aware that depreciation is an expense. The entry that we need to make in depreciation is income statement debit. Why is income statement being debited? Because depreciation is an expense and the nature of expense or loss is always debit. And rather than crediting the machine account itself, we need to make a separate account with the name of provision for depreciation. Now what does the term provision for depreciation means? Provision means an estimate of depreciation. Provision for depreciation means the total depreciation till date and provision for depreciation is also known as accumulated depreciation. Now the nature for provision for depreciation is a credit nature. Provision for depreciation is credit. Why is provision for depreciation being treated as a credit? Because it is a contra asset. Now what does contra asset means? Contra asset means anything that reduces the value of our asset. Let me give you an example that I often give to my students in the classroom. Example is that uh, the life that we have got from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, is an asset for us. The life that our God has given us is an asset. If one of us starts smoking or taking drugs, whether our life expectancy will increase or decrease. Obviously, it will be decreased. If the life is an asset, then the cigarette is a contra asset for the life. The way cigarette reduces our life, similarly a provision for depreciation reduces the value of a machine or any non-current asset. So if the machine is treated as a debit balance that is an asset provision for depreciation should be treated as a credit balance because it is a contra asset. So this is not a liability. We do not need to pay this money to someone. This is just a value that reduces the value of an asset. So provision for depreciation, whenever it increases, it is always credited. Now in this question, the question state that business started for Mr. ARD or ARD Textiles business started in 2013. So 
before 2013 there was no depreciation because there was no business altogether the business just started in 2013 so there is no balance bd written in the question so if there was a balance bd and if this was the second year for the business the balance bd always comes on the credit side because the nature of provision for depreciation is always credited now first of all uh, the first year of the business ends on 31st December 2013 and we have calculated depreciation for 2013 uh, here that is 15,000 1 lakh multiplied by 15% 15, 15,000 the depreciation would be charged at first year what would be the entry income statement would be debited and provision account will be credited so this is the provision account that we are making income statement debit and provision account is credit so the provision account is 15,000 so income statement will be debited increase and provision account will be increased on the credit side uh, like we uh, balance the asset account we need to also balance the provision for depreciation account all asset and liabilities or contra assets accounts are balanced at the end of the year the shorter side will contain balance cd that is balance carried down and this will becomes balance brought down in the next period after december 13 this becomes january 14 this is balance bd now at the second year we have already calculated depreciation that is 25500 why is the depreciation increased because we have already bought uh, we have uh, also bought two new assets so the total depreciation till date previously it was 15 now this year 25500 further depreciation is charged now the total depreciation till date become 40500 again the shorter side is debit side now the total should come in front of each other see both sides are coming equally so this balance carried down again becomes balance brought down in the next year that is january 15 now in 2015 although we have not bought any of the assets but we have still depreciated the assets that we own the same depreciation would be charged in 2015 that is 25500 the total depreciation is 66000 till date again this becomes the balance cd balance carried down again in the last year this becomes balance bd again in the last year if you see there is a depreciation last year depreciation decreased to 10500 why because we have already sold one of the asset now the total depreciations becomes 76500 now in the last there is an important thing uh, if we have haven't sold any of the asset what we need to do we just need to make a balance cd of 76500 and again this becomes balance bd at the start of next year but in the last year as you may see the question we have already sold the asset if we have sold one of the asset what we did we we transferred that asset to disposal account if the asset is no longer with us we transferred that asset to disposal account and similarly if the asset is not uh, belong to us the total depreciation that we charge till date on the asset that we have already sold would also need to be transferred to a disposal account so we'll be uh, discussing dispos disposal account later so what we need to do we need to transfer the total depreciation of the asset that we just sold to a separate account known as disposal account now there comes a question how much depreciation has uh, we have yet charged to the asset that we had just sold we have used the asset for basically three years that is 2013 14 and 15 and in 2016 we sold the asset so uh, as you may be aware in a straight line uh, question uh, the depreciation is charged equally in each year. We need to multiply 100,000 to 15% in order to get the total depreciation for 15,000. So depreciation remains the same for all of the three years, 13, 14 and 15. If we add all of these values, the total value that we'll be getting is 45,000. So the total depreciation till date was 76,500 out of which 45,000 relates to an asset that we have just sold. We need to deduct this value 45,000 in order to get the remaining value balance CD that is total value remains is 31500 so 31500 is basically the depreciation of the asset that we are still using that we have bought from honda limited for 70000 the total depreciation for the 70000 assets is 31500 again the requirement was for 2016 we just need to make a balance bd for the next 
day that is 1st January 2017. Now we have already done with two requirements. One is machine account that is cost account. Another is provision for depreciation account. And the third requirement that is about to come is disposal account. And the purpose of disposal account is to record gain or loss. So before recording gain or loss, first we need to calculate it in the first place that is calculating gain or loss. And how can we calculate gain or loss on a non-current set? See, we have bought the non-current set for 100,000 and we use it for three years and the total depreciation that we have charged is 45,000. If we deduct 45,000 from the cost, we'll be getting a value that is net book value. The net book value that is the value that remain in the books after depreciation is 55,000. Now, if you may see the question, uh, the value that we have getting from selling the asset, the amount that we are getting, which is known as disposal proceeds, is 40,000. We have basically sold the asset for 40,000. Uh, the asset was in our books for 45 for 55 and we have sold it for less than its book value then the difference would be lost on disposal or alternatively if we have sold it for more than book value maybe 60,000 then the 5,000 will become gain on disposal if the question asked just to calculate gain or loss we just need to show this working cost minus accumulated depreciation net book value and uh, we need to deduct disposal proceeds from this in order to get gain or loss but the question is asking for making a disposal account now I can make a disposal account uh, directly as well but I would prefer you guys to first go through the disposal entries now whenever we dispose of any non-current asset we need to make disposal entries and there are four entries that need to be made in order to calculate or record gain or loss there are four entries no matter which non-current asset you sell uh, there are four entries that need to be recorded gain or loss uh, in, in gain or loss or disposal uh, so the first entry is of original cost that the cost that uh, we have bought the asset in 100,000 so 100,000 the original cost of the set the second entry that we need to make is of provision for depreciation also known as accumulated depreciation or total depreciation till date third entry that needs to be made is of bank that we have sold the asset for 40,000 bank or maybe we if we are selling on credit we will be using a debtor name and the last is gain or loss so we need to make four entries so the special thing in all of these entries is that in all of the four entries one side will always of disposal in all of these four entries one side will be disposal so what are we selling right here uh, whether we are selling our maybe religion no we are not selling our religion uh, are we selling our respect or our image no we are selling machine right here so the machine uh, is already debit the nature of the machine is an asset and asset is always debit uh, but if we are selling the machine the machine account would be credited and the account that will be debited is of disposal so we do not need to uh, remember where does the disposal comes if the machine account is being credit then the disposal account would be debited so if the machine is no longer with us so there is no point in keeping the provision for depreciation or accumulated depreciation of that machine we need to get rid of this value as well so the provision for depreciation is basically a contra asset which is always credited so but if we are selling the asset the provision would be reduced or the provision would be reversed that will be debiting a provision account for 45,000 that is total depreciation till date of the asset that we have just sold if the provision is debited the disposal account would be created again you do not need to remember where does the disposal account comes if the machine is credited the disposal would be debited and if the provision or accumulated is debited for decreasing it the disposal account would be credited thirdly if you are selling the machine we are getting some cash or check if you are getting bank balance or check will be debiting bank or alternatively if he has if he says that we are selling it to mr x will be debiting mr x account mr x becomes our customer that is debtor 40000 will be debited and again disposal account would be credited uh, in all of the entries disposal account is common then in the last there is a loss on disposal loss is always debited the nature of loss or expense is debit so income statement would be debited with the loss that is incurred on disposal 
and the disposal account would be credited or alternatively if there was a gain on disposal what we need to do we need to credit the income statement and also need to write the gain or loss in the brackets so if the income statement is credited in terms of gain so the disposal account would be debited so these are the four entries you need to remember for disposal uh, sometimes the examiner asks for disposal entries in the exam sometimes examiner asks for gain or loss calculation and sometimes the examiner asks for disposal account so i have made all of these three items for you so the first entry the disposal account is debited for 100000 we need to debit the disposal account and what is being credited the machine account is being credited so we need to debit the disposal account and the reference would be the machine account and then in the second entry the disposal account is credited we need to credit the disposal account and in the reference would be writing provision for depreciation also known as accumulated depreciation in the third entry the disposal account is credited again so disposal account is credited because of a uh, bank so if you have sold on credit instead of bank will be writing the name of the customer mr x or whatever and in the last disposal account is crediting again and will be writing income statement and will uh, this is important you need to write gain or loss in brackets so if you may see disposal account is already balancing there is no balance cd or balance bd item in disposal account a uh, disposal account always balances there is no balance cd or balance bd in a disposal account and if the disposal account is not being balanced means you have shown your talent your hidden talent so this means disposal account does not contain a balance cd now the dates are important uh, we'll be writing the date at which we have sold the asset and in the income statement we'll be writing the date at end of the year so we just need to write date once all of these uh, two of these items contains uh, the date of 1st september we need to write 1st september each on both sides and in the income statement the date is at the for the end of the year now the uh, last requirement in this question is income statement and balance sheet extract now we are already uh, i hope you have already made an income statement uh we do not need to make an income statement here rather than we just need to make an extract extract means a part of the income statement here uh, we need to just show the non current assets section of the uh, sorry we just need to show the uh, depreciation uh, adjustment of the non current assets so uh, we need to make an income statement extract for four years i need to make four columns each for the each year 13 14 15 and 16 now you may be aware of uh, a depreciation depreciation is an expense and if you are uh, if you remember correctly the format for an income statement it basically starts with sales then uh, there comes cost of sales then if we deduct cost of sale from the sale figure we arrive at a figure for gross profit then we add other income then we deduct expenses now basically the expenses side come after the gross profit so we'll be starting with a gross profit figure although the gross profit figure is not basically given in this type of questions so we need to start with an x value uh, we just need to put an x in front of gross profit then we have add other income Uh, in other income there are basically uh, some items with discount receive rent receive but we do not need to bother about this right now we just need to write uh, gain on disposal because the item that relates to the depreciation is gain on disposal as you may be aware gain is always uh, a credit and it comes in other income heading but in this question there is no gain there is a loss on disposal i i have just made it for you to remember if there is a gain on disposal of asset we need to write in uh, other income then we have an expenses one is depreciation expense right now and one is loss on disposal we have already calculated depreciation for each of the years for first year there was only machine uh, we calculated depreciation 15% on 100000 in order to get the figure of 15000 then the second year we calculated 25500 in the third year again the depreciation remains 2500 and the last year the depreciation drops why because we have sold one of the asset the only depreciation that is charged uh, is on the remaining assets that of 70000 then there is a loss on disposal uh, we have sold an asset in 2016 so therefore the loss on disposal comes in the 2016 column so this is the only thing that we need to do when the examiner asks for income statement extract in depreciation question then in the statement of financial extract uh, position extract also known as balance sheet we need to again make four columns each for each of the years 13 to 
now we just need to make a section of non current asset why because the machine is a non current asset it comes in the non current asset section as you may be aware of your earlier studies if you have made the final account for sole trader or maybe partnership there are three columns that need to be made cost accumulated depreciation and net book value one is machine cost one is accumulated depreciation also known as provision for depreciation and then there is a net book value now i am making a vertical format because i need to make it for four years not just the one year so in the first year we have only one machine that is for 100000 then in 2014 we bought uh, two new machines from honda for 70000 the total becomes 170000 then in 2015 we have not bought any machine neither we have sold any machine so balance remains at 170 then in the last year in 2016 we have sold one of the machine that cost us 100,000 in order to get the total value of 70,000 you may be aware these values have already we have calculated as balance CD uh, if you may see the first page of this uh, see in the first uh, here the balance CD was 100, second year balance CD become 170, third year again 170 and the last year balance CD becomes 70. So these are the balance CDs that we need to write in a statement of financial position. Then we have an accumulated depreciation. See the accumulated depreciation, uh, there is a difference between depreciation and accumulated depreciation. When I talk about depreciation, depreciation is an expense and depreciation is basically of for current year. Then the accumulated depreciation is not an expense, it is a contra asset also known as provision for depreciation. This means total depreciation till date and it is a con contra asset. So in the first year we have a depreciation of 15,000 because this is the first year we do not have any um, previous depreciation the total depreciation also becomes 15,000. Then the second year we have already calculated 15,000 depreciation we have a broad forward of 15,000. Then the second year we calculated 25,500 we need to add these two values in order to get the total depreciation of 40,500. Then the third year we have already reached 40,500 we need to add further 25,500 depreciation in order to get the total value of 66,000 then in the last year in 66,000 we need to add this 10,500 to get 76,500 but in the last year there is a problem and the problem is that we have sold one of the machine uh, we need to deduct the total depreciation of that machine from this total value 76,500 minus 45,000 in order to get the total value 31,500 if you do not know where do we get this value 31,500 we need to refer to provision account again now see at the start of the year we have uh, the last year at the start of the last year we have provision for depreciation of 66,000 we charge further depreciation 10,500 in order to arrive this figure 76,500 uh, we need to deduct 45,000 why because we have sold the asset the asset that we have sold the total depreciation of the asset that we have just sold was 45,000 the total value is 31,500 31, the easy method is that we just need to uh, uh, take all these balance CD. In the first year, balance CD is 31, sorry, 15,000. Second year is 40,500. Third year is 66,000. And in the last year, it is 31,500. So these are all the balance CD that are coming in the statement of financial position. Now, if we deduct provision for depreciation from the cost value, we will be getting the value for net book value NBB. So I hope my dear students, I was able to teach you the topic for depreciation uh, with the straight line method. So if you like this video, you know the drill, what you have to do, just need to subscribe my channel and you need to comment on this video that whether you were able to understand and how can my, I improve my lectures further. Thank you.